Hi guys, welcome to Lori's Crochet Corner. I'm going to do a tutorial today for you guys. Uh, we're going to try out a towel topper for a change and I'm going to give you just a little bit of information. Um, I have a nice towel sitting here. It's real soft. It's a deer. Why they have uh, these out already, I don't know. I guess they're planning on Christmas early this year. However, this towel cost me $1.88 at Walmart. It's very nice, very soft. And that's the kind of towel I like to use for my towel toppers because they wash up really nice. And uh, they don't wrinkle, or, you know, come out all wrinkly and messy. Now here, I just wanted to show you is an 88 cent um, towel from Walmart. It's very rough, okay? I don't like using these because of the fact that it is rough. It's very thin, and when you wash them, they wrinkle up and just come out a mess. I did use these years ago, these cheap ones, because that's really all I could afford. Um, but there, you can see that they're really thin, and I like the thick, soft ones because they just—they're wonderful for towel toppers, especially if you're going to give one to you know as a gift to a friend or family. So this one I don't recommend, you know, this 88 cent one for towel toppers because it's just not the nicest towel. They don't wash up nice. So you're going to use it once and you're probably going to end up throwing it away like I used to do. So just a little FYI. And what you're going to use today is an awl. And you've seen this before. I use this quite a lot for my blanket sets. It's very sharp. It's awesome to be uh, poking holes in your towel with. And you, you know, it just makes it so simple. And you want to poke them all close together and go all the way across the top of your towel. Um, a lot of people use uh, real small, like a size zero crochet hook um, to poke their holes. But the only problem with that is, is they get hung up on the threads of the towel. Once it snags it, it's like putting a runner in a nylon. So. That's why I choose to use the awl. Okay, so you're gonna poke your holes all the way across with that. You're gonna need scissors, okay? You're gonna need button, a button or buttons, how, depending on however many you're gonna make. I also use a size B crochet hook. This is for the first row when you first start out, okay? To get the yarn through your holes, okay? Cause it's small. You still have to be kind of careful because you don't want to snag the threads. When you get your first row done, then I switch over to an H hook or a 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, it gives you a nice stitch, a nice kind of looser stitch, and it, it makes your work go a lot quicker too. And also today we're using Red Heart Super Saver 100% uh, acrylic four ply yarn, which I use for almost everything because it doesn't shrink. It's wonderful. I love it. I swear by it. <laughs> so we can go ahead and get started here. I already have my holes poked and I'm not going to go through the uh, clear across this towel. I have one already done, but I'm just going to show you how the smaller hook makes it easier to do. So what, how you're going to start is you're going to do your um, slip knot, okay? And then you're going to start, you know, go through your first hole and pull your yarn through. Tighten it up in the back a little bit. Whatever you want, whatever the case, you do want to keep your uh, thread, your yarn loose. Keep your stitch kind of loose because you don't want to have your towel bunch up on you. So just pull your yarn through that first one. And what, you can, what I do is when I go through the next hole, I take my stitch, grab my yarn and go over the next, to the next stitch and do my single crochet. However, in the back, I'm working over the straggler right here, okay? If you work over your straggler, then you don't have to worry about tying it off when you're all said and done, you know? I hate tying off, so if I don't have to, I, I don't do it. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of lazy that way. So I hope you can see what I'm doing here. We're just doing a single crochet all the way across the towel. And I didn't count 
the holes that I put in because this is a beginner uh, pattern. So, you know, when you get to the end, if you're minus or have one extra hole, it's very easy to fix and I can show you and we'll see how lucky I am when I get to the end of the towel that I'm working on. But anyways, that's how it starts out. It looks like that. And I'm gonna throw that aside and I'm gonna grab the towel that I actually got started on and I'm almost all the way across. And the reason I do this is because I don't have an editing program yet. I'm hoping to have one by Wednesday, guys. Yay, I hope. <laughs> As long as everything works out, I will have an editing program and hopefully learn to use it real quick. And um, we're gonna, you know, I won't have to do everything so quick. Um, right now, I try to have things, some stuff done ahead of time. And because I'm trying to do it all in one video without having to break off. So, so here I went all the way across the top of this pretty owl towel <laughs> and here's what the back looks like okay up close and then here is what the front looks like pretty nice and you can see I kept them loose enough so it didn't bunch up the towel at the top okay so I had one more stitch left to do here I need my little needle for that hook I need to get out of the habit of calling my hooks needles I don't know why I do that I have been crocheting for over 30 years, and I still make the mistake of saying needle, so bear with me, guys. I'm kind of using some messed up yarn here. And another thing, too, when you make these, if you have leftover yarn, like little balls of yarn that you roll up when you're done with a project, they're awesome to use for this, too, rather than to start a brand new skein. If you don't have to, if you can find a matching yarn, it's great. Okay, so what you're going to do when you get to the end is you're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work over. And then you're going to put your yarn under the, or excuse me, your hook under the yarn. Go into the first stitch. Pull yarn up. You've got three loops on your hook. You're going to go through two of those loops. Grab your yarn again and go through the last two. And there's your double crochet. And then you're going to do one more in the next stitch. Grab your yarn, pull it up. You have three loops. Go through two and go through two. And there's your double crochet. Now the chain two actually counts as your first double crochet. So we have a total of three here, okay? So what we're going to do next is we're going to skip a stitch. And then we're going to go and we're going to do another double crochet. And another one. So you're going to do three in a row. Oops. And then you're going to skip a stitch and you're going to do three in a row again. And this gets you pretty well set up for the next row because it will be different. So you skip a stitch and you go into the next three stitches and you do your double crochets. And I'm going to do this a little fast, try to get across so we can get right to the next row. So you skip a stitch do three double crochets I love this pattern it's very simple it's a beginner pattern I don't know where I came up with it I love it um, I used to just do straight across double crochets and it's kind of boring <laughs> I guess that's probably why I quit making them for the longest time and this is a pattern actually you know there's a pattern to it and it's real pretty when you and it works up fast so as you can see when you're skipping the stitch it leaves a space okay you're going to be needing that space so you want to remember to skip a stitch and then do your three double crochet in the next three stitches I did try to do this video yesterday, but I couldn't get my dogs to quit barking. There were squirrels and rabbits all over the place. I shut the doors so they jump up in the windows. I just couldn't get them to stop, so I gave it up until today. Because <laughs> I promised I would have this up today, so I'm working on it here. Okay, so we're going to skip a sketch, and we're going to go in here. Oh, and when you do your double crochets, make sure you get under both of the uh, stitches of your single crochet row 
because it's very easy to miss one. So, and if you do, you're gonna end up tearing out oh, probably most of your row if that happens. And it can happen because it has happened to me. I'm sorry, I gotta get my yarn untangled here. See, this is yarn that I had left over from a project, probably one of my blanket sets. And when you get like halfway through the skein, I always find that it's just a mess and you usually have to roll it up, ball it up then, you know, so. But I haven't had the opportunity to do that because I have been awful busy here. I thought it was very awesome, my giveaway yesterday at Tomina One. I was very happy for her. I can't wait to do my next giveaway, and I know it's gonna be a little time, but okay. Now, we got all the way across, okay? There are three stitches left, so that's perfect. If in case there was, if there, say there was four, we would have to do a decrease to make it three stitches. And I really don't wanna get into that with you right now. Um, if you have any questions later when you try this, if you do have an issue like that that happens, um, just email me at ljhackett6 at aol.com or leave me a message under this video and I will be very glad to help you with it, okay? So we're going to put a double crochet into our last three stitches. such a strange day today it keeps threatening rain but it hasn't yet okay so we're all the way across and this is what it looks like now okay you can see where you you know where you skip the spaces you can see the little holes there and what you're going to do is chain two you turn the work again and then you're what you're going to do is you're going to do three double crochets into that first opening okay a total of three in the opening i'm kind of glad i'm making this because i do need a new one mine are about ready to go not that they're dirt you know they're bad or anything i've never used them i just hang mine for decoration so now go over to your next stitch, or next opening, and put three double crochet. Oh, I'm sorry guys. Sadie? I hope I don't have to do this again. <laughs> Here's the next opening, and you're gonna put three double crochets. They get on top of the couch in there, and they see anything move, that's it, you know? Who? Oops, I'm getting in a hurry here. I, I think I can get this done pretty quick so that you can see what it looks like into the next opening. So you, all the way across the first row, you did three double crochet, skip a stitch and do, I mean, you did three in, in three stitches, three in a row. You skipped a, a stitch and then you did three more crochets. You did that all the way across. But as you can see, we're working up a pattern here. Isn't that pretty? So this row we're doing, we're going into the openings that we left with the, the skip stitch and we're putting three double crochets in that opening. And what's nice about this pattern is you don't have to really do any decreasing or increasing in it because it does it all by itself and that's the whole thing behind this pattern and I'll show that to you when I get a little farther along. It's such an easy pattern. It's so quick and easy to do. And if you need a gift in a hurry for someone, this is the way to go. You can make a pair of these and probably, you know, if I sat and just concentrated on doing this without worrying about animals or whatever, I could probably get maybe two done in an hour and a half. So just depends how, you know, if I have interruptions or not. Okay, three into the next. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Hey, guys, come on. Oh, you're going to do it to me again. Hang on, guys. I'm going to go take care of this. Get down. Get down. That's enough. 
Mommy's doing a video. I do apologize about that. I'm not going to stop this video and start it over. I did it three times yesterday, so I just have to yell at my dogs a little bit. That's all. We are almost to the end. We have one more here to do the three in. So there's one, two, and three. And when you get here, you see you have two double crochet here right here on the end, and then you have your chain two. You're gonna do a double crochet, and I do it in the top of the chain two. Some people go into the second chain. I like to go in the top because it keeps it nice and even with the, all the others. So I did see that. I, I saw no reason to go into the second stitch or chain, so I like to go in the top one. So then you're gonna chain two again, and you're gonna turn your work, and now you're not gonna go in this first space here, okay? You leave that empty and you skip these three double crochet here and you put three in there. So you're gonna do three double crochet in that space. I think the first time I tried it, I may have actually put them in that first one and my, oops, no, we, we can't do that. That's not gonna work. Otherwise, we'll have to do decreases. So remember to not to put them in the first one. Just go right for the second one. And this really does work up fast and you're gonna see that in a minute here because it doesn't take long at all. I'm just moving along pretty quickly because I really wanna get the, you know, let you see what the towel looks like. It won't be quite finished. I won't have the button on it, but at least it'll be, you'll see it with the handle. Okay. So as you can see, it's angled over here already. See the angle? That's the purpose of skipping over those, the first, um, the first opening. It's going to make it angle all the way up until you get to your handle section. And that is what makes it so that you don't have to do um, decreases, which is really nice. Um, and it makes this such an easy project. And it's very pretty, very, it's so different. I'm just, I got so sick of the, just the straight double crochets that I'm, you know, that I just needed something different. And I found this pattern, not sure where, but I love it. It just works up so fast. See, uh, we're almost at the end already. So we're gonna do three here. Oop. I guess I'm getting in too much of a hurry. I get nervous when my dogs start barking because I've been trying and trying to do this video for you guys. I've been trying to get up to the park for you guys, which I'm not gonna today because it's super windy and the sun is out for one minute and then all of a sudden it gets really nice and dark like it's gonna rain. So we really don't know what it's gonna do today. So I thought, well, I don't really want to get stu stuck up at the park uh, with my scooter because the batteries will get wet and that would not be good. Okay, so now we made it to the end. As you see, there's the, the last three from the last row and you're just gonna go over that. You're gonna double crochet in the top of your chain two. Okay. And then you're gonna chain two again and you're gonna turn your work. This is coming out really nice. I'm very pleased with it. <laughs> Believe it or not, I am happy with it. <laughs> I'm just hoping that you guys can see what I'm doing here. Now here's this first opening again. Do not use that. You'll skip right over the first three double crochet. Go into the next opening and do three double crochet there. and then skip over the next set of three, go into the opening and do three more, double crochet. And believe it or not, I think there's only like six rows of this. And they keep getting smaller each row that you go. So I think the last row is gonna have three in it. So that's why I thought maybe I'd be able to do the whole towel with you guys so that you can see how it looks when it's complete, almost complete. You also will need a tapestry needle 
too for your uh, button whenever you put that on. I didn't bring it in with me because I have yarn on it. I have something special to show you when I'm done here uh, that I've been working on. I thought I might give you a little sneak peek today. I'm kind of excited about it. So I can't wait for everybody to see already and I don't even have it done. <laughs> okay, two, three, so we're still, this is all double crochets. Okay, let's see. Going to the next. Okay, this is the last set of three that we're doing into the last opening here. And actually, you do have one here with your chain two. You don't want to do three double crochet in the end one. Just like when you're beginning out, you know, your row. I say don't go into the first one. We don't want to go into the last one either. This is the one where you're going to double crochet and you're going to go into the top of your chain two and you're going to double crochet, okay? And as you can see, I'll try to help you see here, it is angling. See the angle there and the angle on that side. It's going up. At each row we do, is it's, it's going upwards, so makes it nice so we don't have to do any uh, decreases. Grab me some more yarn here guys, I'm sorry. I rolled it all up yesterday after I tried. I was so frustrated with my animals that <laughs> I rolled it up and just laid everything on the table and left it go. Okay, so chain two, turn. This is coming along really nice. Look at that pattern. Isn't that pretty? You guys are going to love these and they're really easy to make. Just look at that pattern. I love it. It's not the same old boring, just plain old double crochet, even though it is double crochet. It's just different. Okay, there's that first opening I was talking about. We're going to skip over that and go over your three double crochet there and into your next opening. And then you're going to do your three double crochet there. Skip your three, go into the next opening. And do three more. And I'm doing this kind of loose. Um, I think I'm going to like it loose. Generally, I usually do tighter stitching because normally most of the projects that I make, they come out much neater when you use a tighter stitch. But it doesn't seem like this is too sloppy, so I might uh, stick with the looser working on these. I kind of like it. And I think you guys will too. Okay. And guess what? We're almost there already to the end. So as you can see, or maybe you can't, I'm hoping you can. But as you can see, each row is shortened up, one on the beginning and one on the end, because you're still skipping those, um, those two beginning openings. You're not going in those. And that is what's making it possible for you not to have to decrease. Okay, so we got our one more here. And here we are at the end again already. So we're just going to skip over these three and double crochet into the top of the chain two. We got to that pretty quick. And then you're going to chain two again and turn. And two, two, four. I think we only have a couple rows left, which is great. We're making really good time here. I hope I'm not boring you. <laughs> Okay, here's uh, we skipped over that first one, like I said. We put our three in the next, skip the next set of three, and put three double crochet in the next opening. I can't wait to get my new editing program so that I can slow down and be able to really show you guys well how to do this. I think that maybe when I do get it all going, I might just actually cancel out my tutorials that I have already and redo them for you so that 
it'll be, you know, you'll be able to understand it a lot better because I won't be working so fast and I won't be cheating by having other things ready to go. And But doing it this way, you kind of have to because it takes too long to make a project when you're uh, recording. So, but this one here, I think, is a pretty good one that we can get done real quick. And we're into the last, the last one already. So we're all the way across this row already. See how fast that works up? Okay, and we are at the chain two. So we're going to put our double crochet into the top of the, whoops, double crochet into the top chain of the chain two. Yeah, I think I'm doing it a little loose, but that's okay. Oh, no knots. As long as you guys get the idea of what's going on. But look at that beautiful pattern. It is just coming out so nice. And it's working up so fast. And just look at the angle there. See, it's just so nicely angled as you go up. Because you're skipping the first opening on each end. So you chain two. Turn it over, and this, this row is going to be even quicker because we're getting real close to the end of it. I love this pattern, guys. This is really an easy pattern. Please, like I said, if you do have any questions, because like I said, I know I'm going fast. And I did promise I would do this tutorial, but I really would love, <clears throat> excuse me, to see I got me a knot. I would love to see somebody make one of these and show it um, on a video. That would be so terrific. I'm making a mess of my yarn. Oh my goodness, this I don't need. Ugh. That's my luck, guys. <laughs> I think I got it, though. Yay. Okay. Alrighty. That wasted some time, didn't it? Okay, and I'm so so congested today because it's so humid, so please forgive me for clearing my throat and coughing. And when it gets so hot and humid, I don't handle it very well. Okay, so we got three in that one, and we got one more. And then we can put the last double crochet into the top of the double crochet or the chain two i'm sorry into the top of the chain two and then you're going to chain two and turn <clears throat> oh my goodness okay and there's that beginning opening you skip over that again and go into the next do your three double crochet over the next three and do in the next opening do three more double crochet the next opening okay and we made it already over to our chain two so we're going to double crochet in the top Wow, that is so awesome. Look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? Look at that pattern it makes. And, and then you got your, you know, where it went in. Each row you go in, you're losing a, actually a stitch, or I guess you could say, and it makes it angle in. And otherwise, you would be doing decreases to make your towel go up like that so that's why I thought that this pattern would be terrific so that you don't have to do any decreasing so you chain two and turn again skip that first opening go into the next and do three double crochet we're almost there into the next and do three double crochet and 
end, we made it to the end again, so we are going to go into the top of the chain two and do our last double crochet. And let's see here, we've got, okay, we're ready. So we're gonna chain two and turn. See, we made it all the way up and I believe we have two, three, four, five, six, actually eight, eight rows on this one. No, two, four, six, yep. And we made it up, so what you're gonna do now, you've got the opening here and one on the end and one in the center. Well, on each end, you're gonna to wanna to put three double crochet. And you're gonna to wanna to try to tighten up a little bit now because, and actually you're gonna put two on, I know you have to put three in there, I'm sorry. And then two in the center, but you wanna tighten up because now we're starting the handle and then three on this end. All right, now this is the beginning of our handle and you're gonna chain two and you're gonna turn. All right, so now all we're doing is that straight double crochet across for eight stitches. So there's one, two, three, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing, four, five, six, so I was used to doing it looser. Changing the tension is really sometimes not too fun. <laughs> seven and one more which makes eight okay so we have eight double crochet across this row and this is your beginning of your handle so then you're going to chain two turn your work and then you're going to do eight more double crochet all the way across and you're going to continue to do eight across until you get the handle to the length that you want it. I tend to, when I tried this yesterday, I stopped, I think I had like six rows of the, of these rows of the eight double crochet across because I'm finding with the towel toppers, you don't want them to hang to your floor. So, okay, chain two, turn. So you wanna kinda, I, I did, when I first started out, I was making them too long. And so I tried to shorten up, but with certain patterns, you can't. I just would follow the pattern and it would come out too long, <laughs> but I've learned, you know, with certain, you know, certain of the, the towels look better even with the handles being shorter anyway, and that makes it short, doesn't hang as long, and it's not gonna hit the floor, and your dogs aren't gonna play with it, and all that good stuff. <laughs> so, okay, and I'm gonna do a couple more rows because we're almost finished here, guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I appreciate it. Okay, chain two. And do one. Wanna make sure I have, have my eight. You know, count every once in a while and make sure that you only have eight going across. You don't wanna make it any wider than that. We are almost there. I will actually have completed something almost. <laughs> like I said, I won't be putting the won't be putting the button on it, but I'm not gonna make you watch me do that. But I am gonna keep this towel because it is just gorgeous. It came out so pretty, guys. I'm really happy with this pattern and I think I'm gonna continue to use it 
especially for gifts. Um, these are wonderful for holidays too. You know, you can roll them up and put them in a stocking. You can wrap up a couple, you know, a set of them and, and bake up some cookies and take to your neighbor. I did that a couple times and I'm telling you what, we were like best friends after that <laughs> because my neighbor did not know how to crochet nor did she know how to make cookies <laughs> so it was pretty neat though but yeah that's kind of a you know, ritual of ours you know you have neighbors especially if you've been around a long time in the neighborhood we like to take them over some cookies and stuff for the holiday so and just a little something like this just makes it all that much more special Two more rows, and I think it will be plenty for this. So remember, this is all double crochets except for the first row. The first row is single crochet. That's the one that you're attaching to your towel. And after that, it's all double crochet, and you end up with this really pretty pattern, which I love. So I'm hoping that somebody tries it. I know I didn't make it very easy to see, but I'm hoping that I told you well enough that you might be able to give it a try. I really highly recommend you get an awl though if you're going to make these because it makes it so much easier to poke the holes in the towel and it's so it makes it nice and neat and you don't have you know little pieces of thread hanging out all over. I used to do it with with the smaller hook and it would always snag on the towel and when it does, it's like over because then all them threads pull. And like I said, if you know what it looks like when you see a runner beginning in a nylon, it's the same thing will happen to the towel. If you pull, you know, you go to pull that yarn through and the thread comes with it, you're going to see that little run come right up your towel and, and it's all over. <laughs> you might be able to iron it out if it did happen. You could probably iron it and it might be okay. I've done that before. But I have since learned my lesson not to use the hooks to pull the thread through. So let me see here. I think that maybe one more row. I have two, four, six, seven. So I guess we're doing eight rows for the handle on this one. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and tie it off and let you guys take a look see and see how it's, what it's like but I'm hoping that for my last tutorial I think I showed you how to do double crochets so if you don't know how or you can't remember or you haven't practiced just let me know I can go on and do a short video and show you again I mean that's what I'm here for uh, you know I want you guys to learn and I'd be very proud to see some of your work so that's what I'm waiting for. Okay, so we did the eighth row. We're going to tie it off. So you just cut your yarn, pull it through. And what I do is I fold each side of the towel over. I'm sure you guys all know that. And fold this down. Of course, you're going to tie off your your loose ends, but look at how pretty. There is your towel topper. Isn't that pretty? So all you gotta do then is put a button on there. I think I will use a white one on this. And it's got the pretty black and blue and white owl on there, so the button matches just fine. So if you have any questions at all about this towel topper, please let me know because this is a number one easy pattern it's a beginner pattern and it's beautiful I mean it just makes a real pretty pattern on the on the towel itself and it's very simple so and you could probably polish off a whole, maybe seven or eight of these in a day if you wanted <laughs> so that's it for that and I'm so glad that I got to finish that and I'm hoping that my video turns out okay but I do have a surprise for you I told you all the other day that my daughter and I went to AC Moore and bought yarn because she wanted me to make her a slaw. Well, I started it. And there it is. What do you think of that fella, huh? 
he's coming out really cute. I'm working on one of the arms now, and then I gotta do the body and the legs and one more arm. But I, I was so anxious to get started that I decided to finish the head today. So it's all done. Did the eyes, even put a little smile on them. And she, I sent her a picture uh, and she was so excited over it. So I can't wait to get it finished. And when it is, I'll show you the finished product, okay? So I hope you guys like the tutorial. I really hope you try it out and I hope it works for you. Um, the towel is very pretty. So, and like I said, they're great gifts. And if you do have any questions on this at all, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. I would love to see you guys make these. I really, really would. I'm, I'm loving this one and I'm going to make a whole bunch more. So, because I'm very happy with this, uh, pattern, as you, you saw, it worked up very quick. So until the next tutorial, guys, um, I will be looking for another, uh, you know, if anybody has any recommendations on what they would like or, you know, let me know any ideas. Um, I'm trying to keep it to simple patterns for you guys. So that's what I prefer to do because if it's something that I can do quicker, then I can, like here, I can show you almost a finished product. So let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to try. And until I see you the next time, have a great day. I love you guys. Mwah. Kisses. And we'll talk to you later. And don't forget to like, okay? And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, okay, guys? Thank you. Love yous. Bye-bye.